Okay. It's like all of a sudden, you got it. the next thing you know, you're freaking. Today's video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership service that delivers awesome boxes full of top shelf products right to your doorstep. So real quick, I'm gonna open up these boxes. They are sealed, I have no idea what's inside. Box number one, always cut away from yourselves. Tarnation, dude. We got a freaking another knife in here to open the next box. Oh, frick. <laughs> What is this, dude? Oh my gosh. We got a leather carrying pouch? Hell yeah, look at the blade on that sucker. That is sick. And it's actually pretty heavy. All right, sweet. Okay, I don't need this anymore. Let's get rid of that. Next box. Let's do this. Bespoke posts. Shouldn't have sent me a knife, dude. Everyone knows I'm reckless with these things. Holy cow, dude. It's Sharpest knife I own now. Dude, what in the world? Surviving the Great Outdoor Survival Book. Another knife! <laughs> Clip together bracelet or something, but it turns into a rope. You know, you unwind it for survival. But more importantly, another knife. Unbelievable. The oh. only problem is they didn't send me another box to unpackage with it. <laughs> Look at this sucker. All I can say is I'm impressed with Bespoke Post today. I gotta say, they literally went above and beyond with the first two packages. The products you've seen in today's video are just a few of the many, many items Bespoke Post could be mailing to your door. If you visit my link in the description below, use McFarlane20 to get 20% off your first box, and you too could be wielding dual knives in a short period of time. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Confirm YouTube channel. All right, guys, we're going bobbing. You can see my mud trucks back there. Just so happened to work out that I'm towing JH and he's towing mine. So, I don't know why it worked out like that. That trailer is longer and he's already hooked up, so it's just easier. So, uh, we borrowed this trailer from his buddy. It's a little bit shorter, so it'll actually be easier with the toter. But mine is already on his trailer from that video, yada, yada, yada. Got an old beater out, you know. She took a little bit of a spill in the pond. But she's been kicking hard ever since, so. Looking good. Ooh. That dove's got some power. Hell oh, yeah. You ready, Maddie? Yeah. Gonna be a fun weekend. Valentine's Day. Yeah. Doing it right. So, you know, Maddie and I, we go all out. We hit Wawa with just the toter before we hook to the trailer. Of course, we end up with JH's truck. <laughs> Empty. We gotta come back, shove this massive unit into the gas station, and, uh, you know, we're fighting with all the ladies who take their Prius to block the diesel pumps, and, you know, it's We've well, been here for about a half hour. We're finally getting fuel. <laughs> really, it's a long day. Good time, you know? <laughs> All right, guys. So we made it into a spot. Believe it or not, even though the trailer is not dragging or anything, we uh, we're stuck right now. These tires just glassed over instantly. So we're not buried or anything. We're just ever so slightly stuck. So we're actually in the perfect spot we wanted to park. So we're gonna leave it and then tomorrow when it's time to go, we literally just hook a chain up. We're in the spot where we can just back all the way out. No one will be blocking us and we'll be good to go. So, you know, it's a little trickier than usual. <laughs> Didn't want to get the toter home, you know, stuck one week in ownership, but here we are. It's just part of life. Hey, are we here? We made it, dude. We're here, dude. All right, we're here.
Hopefully this water line will tell you how James's night went. Just about flipped it, but he didn't flip it. So that's our boy James. <laughs> that's so awesome. All right guys, so last night we kind of just got the, uh, the fun going. Both trucks survived. Jay's pants are sitting out here. I can't explain that. But uh, we didn't really, I mean, my truck's not bad. At least we made it to today, so uh, we're gonna go out and do some bogging now. And All right, we'll start it off. We gotta get this thing a little wet. We got a good size hole here. There we go. Oh, frick. <laughs> Look at that. Ah! just doing is child's play compared to this. I don't know if you can tell the consistency of what this pond is, but you could throw a rock into it and it'd probably land on the top. So it's it's super thick and uh, these guys just bury their trucks in it. Alright, we're going to reset we should end. I know what to do. That's what it's supposed to look like. Here's a brand new S and B. These guys hooked this up with some spare filters. That's what mine looks like. It's actually collapsing hey. from the suction. What? Mine was like that too. I changed it. I tell you. Dude, you're supposed to be my diesel mechanic. I thought you would have changed mine. Unbelievable. All right, well, I'm gonna swap this out. That should really help things. This stuff's so nasty. I love it. Dude, my FF sticker is unreal. Can't have the branding messed up while we're out here. I run it a lot better now than this one there, I think. Yeah, it's like gonna gear out the second you switch.
<laughs> no, you did not. That was terrifying. I'm probably the only guy to use the uh, diff lock and no traction control on a brand new 2021 Renegade. I don't think anyone who buys one of those is stupid enough to take it in the mud like I just did. Eh, gotta send it, dude. Unfortunately, our fuel filters are cooked. I blame JH fully for this, <laughs> but it's all good. It's starting to rain and stuff, so we're gonna get out here anyway. But mud truck, dude, did not get stuck a single time. I actually wanna race JH again, because I feel like it's got way more power than fresh filter. It goes for a minute, but once it drops the rail pressure because the lift pump is not keeping up, it's uh, it's kind of kind of sucks. So we'll get it fixed. R.I.P. Yeah. Guys, I cannot wait to be on asphalt again. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm so happy to be. Well, we're not stuck. We made it out. We got the truck. Whew. Barely got the truck on the trailer. Barely got the truck out of the ditch. Oh man. It all came together. All right, we're on the road. We survived Plant Bamboo with the new toter home. Tested her out. Didn't get too stuck. Broke the truck, which is always awesome, but it's just a fuel filter, so it doesn't really count. But fired up. Thanks for watching the video. We'll freaking see you later.